Hello friends, today I want to share one more favorite Jan Brett story. Jan Brett is one of my favorite authors because of her incredibly beautiful pictures. She is such an extraordinary artist. And we all enjoy sharing this funny story, The Mitten, and imagining all these animals together inhabiting a mitten. I think it's fantastic. So let's find out what happens. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted new mittens made from wool as white as the snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba made them because she loved her Nikki so. After she had finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. And off Nikki went. It wasn't long before one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Uh-oh. And we see an animal coming upon that mitten. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Who can blame him? What a nice, cozy place for a star-nosed mole. What do we see next? A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wriggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Don't want to miss with the kick of a rabbit. And here, who's next? Looks like our little hedgy. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. <laughs> Look at it, it's getting to be a pretty tight squeeze. And who do we see next? The great horned owl. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. We're not fighting with an owl. And look at here. Who's peeking from under that tree? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. And who's coming along the path now? The red fox. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in, and when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, he gave, they gave the fox lots of room. <laughs> oh, and here we see the bear. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. 
Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in so tightly, as tightly as can be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good mitten held fast. And now what do we see? A little tiny mouse. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. That's a pretty scary place to be if you're a little tiny mouse. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, <laughs> The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the air and scattered the animals in all directions. <laughs> On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted up in the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Look at Baba's face. She can't believe that gigantic stretched out mitten. What crazy adventures had Nikki been up to today? Well, I hope that you keep good track of your mittens or else who knows might cl climb in and make a home inside of one of your cozy snug mittens. Remember, our hands need our mittens to keep warm in these cold weather. Until next time, enjoy the snow and don't forget to read a good book.